Hey everyone, welcome back to Coding with Marcus. This is how to make a start menu for your Scratch game. Sorry about the noise behind me, it's just the rain. So uh, I guess we're just going to have to listen to that. But first, we're going to go into Backdrops. And we're going to make a simple bl black backdrop. Any color you want. I'm going to make it red. Uh, fill. All right, I guess that doesn't work so. And we're going to set X. I'm gonna go over here. Oh, never mind. All right, just like that. So now I've got our backdrop, and I'm gonna make some text. Right, I'm gonna write main menu, main menu, and I'm gonna make that bigger. Just like that, and I'm gonna put it at the top. Just like that, maybe a little bit smaller. And I think I'm gonna make the fill yellow. Just like that. Alright, so now we got our menu, we're going to delete Scratch Cat, and we're going to go create a sprite, and make a box, no fail, and the other one is black. Alright, just like that, make some text. Start. Just like that. Like that. And now I'm going to fill. I'm going to make a fill. Just like that. Start. And we're going to go to events. One green flag clicked. Uh, we are going to go to two and actually, I'm going to put it over here. Seven and thirty six. Seven and thirty six. Just like that. And then I'm going to make another backdrop. Um, so we're just going to make a blank backdrop. And then I'm going to go to the backdrops. One room five clicked. Switch backdrop to back job one and then we're gonna go over here to one this sprite click broadcast start and over here when I receive start switch back job to backdrop two. So this is just the basics. We're gonna make a backdrop two. Just like that. If I click it, 
it moves on to the second backdrop and then I'm gonna go over here and hide so this is the basics just like that all right and we don't want it to be basic we want it to be a little more advanced and I'm also gonna put a show over here first and go to front foot so we want to be advanced so we want to see the button we want to see if we're touching the button right now right now just gonna put a forever blog just so that keeps running all right so right now it doesn't show anything so we don't really know if um we're clicking on the start button well of course we do know because there's a cursor over there but we're just gonna make it a little more advanced so we're gonna put a forever loop if go to sensing touching mouse pointer we're gonna go to looks then we're going to change effect by and change ghost effect by 25 change ghost effect by 25 and then wait and wait uh 10 seconds Actually, we're gonna not do ghost effect. Ghost effect. We're gonna do brightness effect, and then we are gonna do um wait. We're gonna need a wait until block. So over here, wait until we're gonna duplicate this touching mouse pointer. But operators not touching mouse pointer and then we are going to change brightness effect by negative 25 because we want it to be at zero so just like that and if it's not touching it's gonna stay like that and then I also want to change size by um, 10 and then change size by minus 10. Alright, so that's good for now. And then if we click it, it's going to go to this menu, this backdrop. Now we are going to make another button. We're going to go over here. And um same thing, make a box and I'm going to write uh what is it called? Um directions directions and um so we're gonna make the text black and then we're gonna center this and center the box all right, there we are. Now we have our directions. And I'm going to put it right there. And we're going to go back to the start. And we're going to put all of that over to the directions. So instead of 7 and 36, we need... 9 and negative 25. 25. If you're wondering where I found that, it's over here where the X and Y is. Alright. So now, it does the same thing. 
as a start. Alright, and to make it a little smoother, I'm going to wait 0 0.1 seconds. Wait. 0 0.15 seconds. Like that. So, actually 0 0.1 is enough. So, it's going to be like that. So now it's a little more smoother, and I'm going to do that to the start, too. Just like that, wait 0 0.1 seconds. Alright, so now it's not an instant change. There's going to be a little, a little bit weight on it, like that, alright? So now we're going to go over here to the directions. Uh, we're gonna go to when this sprite clicked. We're going to broadcast. Directions. Then we're gonna make another backdrop. And. to make it a green a greenish color all right so <clears throat> all right just like that and then we are going to say when I receive directions, we're going to switch backdrop to backdrop 3. Alright, just like that, now we have our main menu. Just like that, we can click start. Oh yeah, and one more thing. When I go here. We're going to go to directions. When I receive directions, we are going to hide. Alright, just like that. And then we're going to go to start. We're just going to put this to the start. So now they're both going to disappear. Oh yeah, and I need to do one more thing when I receive start. It's going to hide too. So just like that. They both hide. And the directions goes to backdrop 3. Alright? And I don't want the black to be shown, so I'm just going to make no fill on that. Alright, just like that. And I'm going to make some text. How to play. So, this is not going to be a game. This is just a uh, backdrop, a back, a background. Just to um, make it more realistic. I'm not going to post this or anything. It's just a tutorial. And if you actually have a game, you want to, um, in the beginning, you want to take out a when group I clicked. Broadcast. Start. No, when group I clicked. Broadcast. Start. Menu. And then... The start menu is gonna, um, we're gonna go to backdrops. When I receive, um, start menu, then we are going to, um, search backdrop to backdrop one, and then, um, you're gonna, uh, 
um, move on to your game. So in the stage, you're just gonna um, go over here, and this is gonna be your game. So I'm gonna pretend that it's a race track. So you're gonna want to make the track here. So uh, I'll do that real quick. Just make a track here. A crazy track there. Like that. And then when it's going to go to start, it's going to go to your game. And then when we go to directions, it's going to go to how to play. And then, um, yeah, you can make your text. You can tell them how to play. So, uh, use the arrow keys to uh, turn the car or something like that. And uh, you can do pretty much whatever you want. You can make a quit menu, an options menu, if you have different game styles. So, just like that. Uh, you can do many things with a start menu. So, you can just play around with it. And um, that is how to. That is how you can make an easy start menu for your game like that and i hope you enjoyed today's video and i'll see y'all in the next one peace